Hey there, Darren Smith here, founder of Craftsman Creative and a full-time film producer, part-time creative entrepreneur building six-figure businesses over the last couple of years and helping other independent creators do the same. So listen, if you are an independent creator, an independent business owner of a creative business, I wanna to talk to you for a second. So here's the thing. If you're struggling in your business, there are reasons for it. And I know what those reasons are and I wanna tell you about them in this video. Here's the thing, like choosing independence, choosing an independent path, instead of pursuing a, you know, a nine to five job at a studio or a production company, like you're running the business yourself. Choosing independence means taking responsibility. And we do that because we can see the upside. We see that with ownership and equity and the stuff that we build, there's more potential for profit, for growth, but yet like we don't always realize those things. We don't always have those results. And so we need to figure out what's the gap there. And my answer is that you haven't taken responsibility for every part of your business. So here's what I mean. Independent creators believe that business just kind of happens. And the proof of this is like you look at a typical production company. I work with dozens of them. And here's what I see time and time and time again. It's an entire company built up of three, four, five, six artists. So you have a director, a creative director, a producer, an editor, a sound person. Maybe you have an office manager, but they, they don't have background in marketing and sales and finance and HR and operations. They just kind of do whatever anyone needs help with. And so when you build a business with a bunch of artists, you've got all these other areas of your business that are being neglected because no one has taken responsibility for them. So what happens is you grow your business to a certain point. I've seen these businesses grow to 800, 900, 1 million, 2, you know, 1.2 million a year, but they always cap out. They always get stuck right around there. Call it 150,000 per person or $200,000 per person per year. They just plateau right there. And again, the reason is because no one is taking care of the business. Everyone's working on taking care of the client and the customer, which is great, but it's only one part of your business. So they get stuck. And the same thing applies to independent creators. So you might be able to grow an audience or grow an email list or have a product that takes off and all of a sudden you're making 100, 150,000 a year, but you get stuck. You reach that same cap because you're working in your business and not on your business. You're not taking care of marketing and sales and your product ecosystem and finances and operations. You're taking care of your product. You're taking care of your customer, which is what you know how to do. So you keep doing that. And a lot of creators make the mistake that they think that the way to grow is to do more art. And that's not the answer. The way to grow is through systems to take care of every aspect of your business and having people take responsibility for those systems. So let's talk about what that looks like for a second. What you need to do is really restructure your business. <laughs> I know it's a big, huge thing, but it's actually true. So it may mean that you restructure your business, but it could also mean that you just need to build some systems to ensure that you get consistent results in every area of your business, removing all the constraints that are currently preventing your growth. So that's why I created a five-part framework for building independent creative businesses. It starts really with a mindset shift, taking responsibility. So you're going to go from, I don't know what's working to, I know that I need to take responsibility over the different areas of my business. And that is a mindset shift. You are now taking responsibility when you weren't taking responsibility before. The second piece is that you need to define the outcome. What do you want your business to do for you? What kind of lifestyle do you want it to deliver day in and day out? Not just for you, but for your employees and your partners and your clients and customers. You also need to define your core offer for your ideal customer. And then you're gonna start building systems to gain visibility and awareness for your business, generate leads, engage them for longer and turn them into customers. All of those things are the steps that every single customer or client goes through in order to become a customer or client of your business. They have to discover that you exist. They need a way to engage and show you that they're interested. They need a way to give you permission to contact them with more information about your products and services. And then they need to be able to talk to you about or purchase those 
products and services, and then you sell them to them and then they become a customer or a client. There's no skipping. It may happen really, really quickly. They may discover you know, a tweet or a LinkedIn post or an Instagram reel, click on a link, buy the thing. But that's still the same process. And so you need to systematize that so you get those results consistently day in and day out. New awareness, prospects, leads, customers, and clients. After that, you're gonna expand your product ecosystem to turn those customers into repeat clients and increase lifetime value. If someone buys from you once for $1,000, that's great, but the customer lifetime value is then $1,000. If you can get them to pay you then $100 a month after that, well, guess what? Pretty soon, the customer lifetime value doubles, and now that you're making $2,000 or $3,000 or $5,000 per client, so we want to make sure that we have a way to do that with our product ecosystem. The principle there is that products don't make money, product ecosystems make money. So lastly, doing all of this allows you to expand your impact because you now have a business that supports the dreams that you have for you and all of the people that you work with. My five-part framework is hidden in there. You've got mindset, outcomes, visibility, implementing systems, and expanding your impact. And guess what? Remember how I said I was a film producer? My five-part framework is called the movie framework. And yes, I'm inordinately excited and pleased and satisfied that I came up with a framework that says movie. Yes, it takes work, okay? But the process is simple. It's five parts. It's a couple of systems that your business needs. And what I have seen happen time and time again is businesses double their revenue by implementing one system. So you think about, you know, five, six, seven systems that we just talked about in this video. And all of a sudden, that's seven different ways that you can double your business. That's a 14X. Screw this whole like 10X your business thing. Let's talk about 14Xing your business because that's real for you. If you start building out these systems that don't yet exist, you can double your business every single time. It's crazy. So all you need to do is follow this five-step framework. It's the key to building systems and taking responsibility for your business, which is the mindset shift that you need to make. Doing so will create more profit and more growth than you've ever experienced before. I invite you to join me in January 2024 for three days of business workshops where together we will build out every single one of these systems. Again, each one can double your business. And we're going to do it together over three days at the Craftsman Creative Event in January 2024. You can learn more and get your tickets at event.craftsmancreative.co.